Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is the Match Day Live episode. The Europa League Arsenal are away from home taking on FC Cologne of the Bundesliga. This video is brought to you by the One Football app. The link will be in the description below. So go check it out, download it and then keep up to date with all your footballing stats. Now today's episode of course is Europa League. Cologne are not in the best of forms right now. I believe they are um, bottom of the table in fact in the Bundesliga. Sitting at the bottom with just two points all year. So they're having a terrible year so far. Uh, so Arsenal really got to be the favourites going into this one. And I'm sure Arsene Wenger will be putting out a, I'd say a semi-strong squad going into this one. But I did hear uh, there was a rumour that he's going to put out a couple of the main starters. Well, I say main starters. Giroud may be starting tonight. Uh, we'll have to see a little later when the, the lineups are actually um, given to us. But I think it will be a, a bit of a strong squad. Obviously, the youngsters have been performing well. So we, whoever does make the starting 11 is going to be a, a fairly squad strong squad anyway uh, but as you can see 25 minutes gone in this one and Arsenal have just won themselves a free kick Theo Walcott going down there uh, Debussy we've got starting in our starting 11 Theo Walcott's making the start 11 we've got Olivier Giroud as a striker I think Alex Iwobi starting on that left wing uh, who do we have in the middle we've got uh, Jack Wilshire and who was the other midfielder I put in there? I can't remember. Or was it Maitland Niles we've got starting alongside Jack Wilshire in the middle of the Arsenal midfield? And so hopefully we can have enough to go forward and grab ourselves a few goals. We do have a strong bench as well. Well, I say strong, it's full of the youngsters. Reese Nelson, of course. Um, as we're going through, can we get the first goal in off the woodwork? And there we go. The deadlock has been broken. Just under half an hour gone, it's Arsenal 1, FC Cologne 0, and it is Theo Walcott who scores his first goal of the game. Will he get many more? Now, Theo Walcott, of course, had huge potential when he joined Arsenal as a youngster, as a teenager, in fact, but he's just not quite hit the heights that everybody was expecting to do so. He's had some great performances throughout his Arsenal career, but I think everybody was expecting to hit the heights that Thierry Henry did when he was at Arsenal but it's not just quite, quite worked out for Theo has it which is a bit unfortunate because I do like Theo uh, but just like Oxley chamberlain he's not really improved since joining the club and that's one of the reasons why Oxley chamberlain did end up moving on to Liverpool and now we are approaching half time here and it is still Arsenal who are leading by one goal to nil FC clone I was going to say going close there but that was a terrible effort by them and the score remains 1-0 to the Arsenal. Five minutes to play in the first half, which is just up. So we are going to jump straight into the second half and straight from kickoff. It is FC Clone in possession, passing nicely. And somehow they've gone all the way through. He can get the cross in, which he does. Finds his man inside the area. Poor defender there from Arsenal. And again, in off the woodwork, FC Clone against the run of play have leveled things up. Two minutes into the second half. It's now FC Clone 1, Arsenal 1. Now, they will be very happy with that. As I said, they are having a terrible year so far in the league, only picking up two points out of, I think they've played 12 games so far in the Bundesliga. And so, a very terrible uh, time for them. Looking like they may just get um, relegated, which would be a bit of a shame because FC Clone got some great fans, which proved when they came to the Emirates earlier on in the season. And now Arsenal need to get themselves back in front here. As Maitland Niles goes all the way through, his shot was saved. And it is kept in, is it? Yeah, just kept in there by the FC Cologne defender. And now a chance for them to go on the counter-attack. Good interception from Arsenal. They win the ball back in midfield. And Jack Wilshire nicely played through there for Giroud. Links up again with Wilshire. Wilshire goes all the way through just outside the six-yard box. He smacks into the back of the net, giving Arsenal a 2-1 lead. And I'm sure we won't be conceding any more before the game is ended. So that should be the game wrapped up. And of course, a step closer to being qualified for the knockout stages of the Europa League. Now, Jack Wilshire and Olivier Giroud always link up really well when they play together. So it is nice to see them doing so once again in this match. Jack Wilshire was finishing. How many times has Olivier Giroud set up Jack Wilshire to finish? Quite a few times, I think. We're into the final 10 minutes now. Arsenal still holding on to the 2-1 leader in possession, looking for a third. Reese Nelson has come on. 
Uh, we've got Enkitie, who's come on as well in place of Livejuri. Danny Welbeck's come on in place of Iwobi, as that shot just goes wide of the Cologne goal, almost going in there. Is that Maitland Niles? May have just been Maitland Niles with that effort. Unlucky, the youngster looking for the back of the net. And now Arsenal winning possession yet again. Straight from the goal kick this time. Played onto this near side for Reese Nelson to get the cross in, but that was a poor cross. The goalkeeper reading it well, and he is going to get this one clear for Cologne. So just over five minutes remaining. Arsenal again win possession. Cologne just can't hold on to the ball, can they? They are struggling late on in this game. Less than five minutes to play. Arsenal again looking for his third goal. Here is Reese Nelson. Opens up some space for himself. Takes off the shot, but the goalkeeper is there. Should have really gone into the back of the net, that one, but it wasn't to be. Good goalkeeper, though, from the clone defender. Uh, goalkeeper, sorry. Uh, it's a good save just by his hand there. Uh, so it did go out of play for an Arsenal corner. So the pressure remains on for the clone defenders. Oh, the acrobatic effort. Who was that? It's a cracking effort there. Uh, but unlucky. Again, the goalkeeper getting down low, making a good save. He's had a good second half. So he's going to be a bit disappointed that they are going to be losing. Or are they going to be losing? Because they're on the counter-attack now. There's one minute to play. Clone getting across and in the middle. He's there. Oh, he's missed. How did he miss from there? I thought for a second Clone had leveled things up in the last minute of the game. Great play. But how? look at that. How did he not get that one in on target? Ospina was beaten, I think. If that was just a little bit on the inside of that post, that would have gone into the back of net. But thankfully for Arsenal, it wasn't to be. The score remains two goals to one. Now we're just waiting for that final whistle to blow. But Clone still have a little oh, poor pass there. I was going to say they've got enough time to go forward. Arsenal giving the ball away this time. What is happening here? Both teams not really putting their passes where they need to be going. And then Clone, maybe one last chance here going through. But there was Mertesacker sticking in the boot and getting the ball away for Arsenal. There is the final whistle then. We hold on to the 2-1 win. A good victory for the Gunners away from home. Cologne won't be very happy, of course. They did well, um, almost getting themselves a leveller at the very end there. The goalkeeper, Horn, for Cologne, had a great game, making some vital saves to at least keep Cologne in the end, in, in the game till the very end. But Jack Wilshere, he was the one that scored the winning goal for Arsenal. And it is Arsenal who take away the victory and three points in Europa League. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.